48 degrees Fahrenheit at 9 a.m. on Thursday, November 7, 2024. A chilly morning. Uh, today is uh, Thursday, November 7, 2024, just after 9 a.m. And uh, I put some gasoline in the tractor because it's running low. And uh, today I'm going to feed some hay bales to the cattle out there in the big pasture because I think they're getting low on grass. And uh, I'm going to take my white plastic tube cover off my bale spear and because uh, I keep that on there to keep it from rusting works pretty good too yeah that way it slides into the bale better okay all right let's uh let's take that off and get this thing going haven't started it for a while so hopefully it'll start uh, did I mention that it's kind of chilly this morning? Yeah, it's below 50, it's 48 degrees at 9 a.m. So it's still chilly. Sun's shining good though. Sun's shining nice, bright. There's hardly any clouds in the sky. But the wind is cold. Sun feels warm on my skin, but uh, I got my I got my jacket vest on, I guess you could call it my vest jacket. I got that on, but my arms are still closed. Well, I got the hood on, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, most of me is pretty warm enough. And it's, I guess it's gonna warm up. The wind's from the north, <laughs> but it's cold. Yeah, there aren't too many clouds in the sky today. Yeah, yeah there's not many leaves on the trees anymore either. There's still a few that still have their leaves, but they're turning brown. Still a few green trees out there too but they're getting less and less as the temperature gets colder and the days get shorter yeah soon there won't be any leaves on the trees except for the cedars of course cedars will always stay evergreen all right let's start the tractor and see how it works well it started right up first time that's good even when it was a little cold started right up Okay, I'm gonna I'm letting it warm up a little bit before I go out. I don't have to, but I am. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this tree all the way up. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna go out to the big pasture, feed the cattle three of the old bales from last year to start with. Let's see how it goes after that. Okay. All right, let's do some hay feeding. Well, the sun's shining bright today, and uh, and the cattle are over there <laughs> waiting by the gate, but they're not coming in here. But I am going to give them hay on top. Sometimes I wonder if I have too many gates. Yeah. Right now I got three gates to go through to go up to the top. Okay. One here, one by the bridge, and one at the top of the one at the top of the pasture road. But uh, I think I need them. So that's why I got them. Yeah, I'd rather have them than not need them, and then need them and not have them. <laughs> so I'm ready to open the second gate now. Mother. Ground is still a little spongy from all that rain we had the other day. Yeah, was, I forget what day that was. About three, three days ago maybe. Anyway, it's still firm enough to drive on. I'm not making ruts. Tires just pressing in a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm seeing this right. It looks like there's more water flowing today. I don't think it rained last night. Could have rained up north, I don't know, but I don't think so. Yeah, uh, anyway, it's just water's flowing pretty good. But there's no cattle in here, so it doesn't matter. Well, I'm standing next to my bales here. Yeah. yeah. It's 
nice and shiny, so I keep it covered. All right, what happened to my son? All right, where's my shadow? I'm fading away. Oh my god. Oh, here it is. I'm back. I'm coming back. Oh, I feel like the invisible man. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Okay, let's back to the factory. Yeah, the water's flowing pretty swiftly through here. And the rain was like three, three or four days ago. I can't remember what day it was. But it was three and a half inches, or no, three, three, uh, uh, six tenths inches. Okay. Alright. Let's, uh, keep on moving. Yeah, we're laying down there by the gate. Yeah, I'm making track. Just testing it. I have to close the gate after I go through otherwise the cattle might go down there because I get the bail set up for them oh. okay all looking good all looking good well I guess they're waiting for me <laughs> when I move they move there's I like that little I like that white pool there with the pink nose. So, fifth calf out of the first bull calf, 
and the fifth cap out of that cap. Yeah. And the other ones are over. Yeah. That, that one there is always so inquisitive. She's always getting close to me. And I never even tried to see him put her down. I always figured I was going to eat her. Processor for meat. I decided to keep her for a cow. At least for a while, anyway. See what, see what kind of calves she throws. Well, this is the hay I'm going to feed. I'm going to feed these. Start from this side here. I want to get to that bale. Again. The one for the most. Yeah. This is the whole day from 2023. Well, that's not going to be easy. I got to get my tractor in there and then close the gate while I take the net trap off. Yeah. As long as they don't go in. Yeah, I gotta keep them from going in and before I can get in. Well, the cattle are cooperating with me today. <sighs> I'll close the gate while I work on the bale. Before that cow gets in there. I right, close the gate so they can't bother me when I cut some net trap off. I'm gonna cut the net trap off of that one. It's on the tractor. Uh, net wrap off of that one. Well, I guess I won't be getting the one that's net wraps coming off is back there, but that's too many bales to move out of the way. So I'll just get to I'll get to that one later. So I'll do one, two, uh, three. I'll do the outside one. Yeah, so I'll do three. They're all waiting for me, I guess. These too. Yeah, these this old hay. I'll feed it now while the weather's good. That way they uh even if they don't eat it, it's okay. Looks like when I got the bales shoved shoved together real tight, the water gets in between them and rots the hay on the on the edge here. But that's just the way just the way it works. Gonna lose some the hay to the weather. Yeah, the hay smells old. And it's dry on this side, on the south side. It's a, it's dry from the sun. But on the other side, it's still wet. Yeah, it's wet. It never gets the sun. I don't know if that's steam. It can't be dust. Yeah, but it's. It's dry. It's dry and a little moldy. Yeah, pour it down, it gets better. Yeah, don't smell too bad. Now I gotta cut the red net wrap off of these two. The next two. I'm gonna give them three today. That's a big boy there. Big bully. Yeah, they're waiting for me. I got two of them. That rep cut off with two of them. Got one more to go. Hey, heifer. Yeah, I'm gonna get this one off too. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the right thing to do. Cutting the net wrap off these old bales before I move them. Before I pick them up. Because there is a chance they might fall apart on me. Yeah. But I'm going to take a chance this time. If, if these fall apart, then I'll, I'll leave the net wrap on until I get them out there. I'm going to set them out over there somewhere. And uh, and if they fall apart, you know, the next ones I move, I'll leave the net wrap on. I cut the net wrap off where I'm going to drop it. That's what I usually do anyway. I'm going to take a chance today. Well, I'm going to take a chance and leave the gate open as I as I drive the, the bit, tractor and bale out. Hopefully I'm going to hopefully they're going to follow me. Yeah, I hope. If not, I'll have to stop and I'll close the gate before they get in there. Because they'll tear them bales apart. That's already looking in there. 
I changed my mind. I saw that they were going around trying to get in, so I closed the gate on them. And the bullies are already eating the hay. <laughs> Look at that. He already knocked them off and threw it on his back. And the cow was eating off of his back. So that means they still like this hay. So that's good. Good to see that they like this hay. But I'm sure the bull will still tear the bale apart. This one with the bale. Three, I'm gonna put three bales right here. One here, there, and then over there. I'll spread them out. Oh, I sure am glad I closed the gate. They didn't follow me. Uh, now, they're hanging, now they're hanging around the gate. Okay, well, I'm glad I closed it. I guess I have to close it every time and pull the bail out. I guess I can do that. As long as they don't get in there with the bail. Okay, let's get another one. First, I see another two more. So I'm not going to move those two bales yet. One at a time through that gate and then close it. So the bullet keeps the hay to be knocked off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll have to keep them out of my way. Yeah. Okay. Gonna be a little tricky here. I could open that gate and uh, I'll have to chase him away there a little bit. I could open this gate up, that gate, and then I gotta back it in before and then get the bail, pull it out before they come in. I thought sure they follow the other bail. Okay, we'll see how this works out. I thought the bolt went over there to reduce that bail.
net wrap to pick up. In years past, I always just rolled them up and kind of threw them all to the side. But then uh, I think it was last year, maybe it was this year, I can't, I think it was this year, yeah, before we baled hay, before our first cutting, I had to move all these bales around, yeah, uh, get the old ones all along this end from back there. Uh, That was this year, yeah. I picked up all the piles of net rep I had here. And uh, so now I'm gonna, if I can, I'm gonna roll them up. When there's snow on the ground, it might be harder to do, but right now I can pick them up, take them back to the house. And this year I'm not gonna make a pile by the house. I'm gonna put them in sacks this year, this time. Yeah, that way it's super easy to move around and burn when I want them to burn them. I don't have to pile them up in a big pile like I did. Previously, which I just I just burnt that pile this year recently. So well, let me pick them uh, net wrapped up and uh, close this gate and get out of here. Well, I got three net wraps to pick up. Oh, there's a lot of hay on top of the net wrap. So it was like embedded. The net wrap was embedded into it. And then you had some roots underneath it back there. Yeah. So, uh, that was the left of this one, and that one was real loose dirt there, and a lot of it. And that one had some old hay and stuff. But I don't know all you've been out in that drive on. Now to pick up the knit wrap and take it home. Put it in the bag. Well, I'm done feeding hay. Three bales over there. The uh, cattle are all eating it good. All I have left to do is uh, close the gate. Okay, it's closed and I'm done. I'm done out here for now. I'll stop at the cattle and watch the meat for a little while before I go home.
Yeah, but uh, well, I'm out here. I'll just show the Jimson weeds that are grew back pretty. pretty well. I had them. I had them mostly under control until I thought it was close to uh, winter or getting cold. So I stopped spraying them, and they grew back. The seeds grew grew back new ones. And now look how big they are. They're even. They're even making seed pods. Yeah. I know. Looks like a sea one. Yeah, there's a couple there. Yeah. Yeah, they're, but they're but they're not ripe. That's the main thing. They're not ripe. If they were ripe to be brown and the seeds would be falling out of them. But these were these had a late start. Now something like that. Yeah, these all got seeds on them. And they're vicious. We when they were kids, I see they're still they're still uh they're still uh, soft. Yeah, they're still soft. And they're not, they're not dried up. And, although some of them are getting there. Yeah, they're vicious. I hate to say it though, when we were kids, this would grow in the pig in the pig pen because the cat, uh, the pigs won't eat. It. Yeah, pigs won't eat this stuff. But we used to take those. Me and my brothers we used to take those things when they were ripe. <laughs> we throw them at each other. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, but we didn't do it very often. Just when we were mad at you. Just when we were having a fight. Uh, yeah, that was really the day of the day. Uh, we survived. I uh, keep hitting that cord. I survived four brothers. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why I fed down there. I want these to die off. Yeah. I don't think the cattle will eat, they won't eat them, but. I don't want them walking around in them more than they have to. Once the first frost comes, they'll, they'll wither and drop down. Okay. Cat are eating. I'm done with feeding. So that's uh, head back to the house. I'll stop at the cattle again just to get another view from this side. Uh, the next time I feed hay, I'll leave this alone. I'm going to feed that one, that one. And that one back here. Actually, one that has a net yet. That's one I want. I think I'll leave that one. I think I'll leave the I'll leave the net wrap tied on that one. Uh, it's sure to fall apart if I don't. And uh, I'll cut it off in that tent. So that's it for this location. Okay, that's it. That's, let me move out of here. Well, there's the three bales. Three bales I cut out today. One. Like he's gonna roll it. That way. Well, when he rolls it, he rolls it. 
bail roller. I got a bowl. My bowl is my bail roller. He's pretty good at it too. The only thing is I can't I can't uh, tell where he's gonna roll it sometimes. That's his choice. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. Get down to the gate. First the three gates to go through. We're always enjoying the view from up here. on the way out. The kettle. There's the three bales I set. First one, second one, third one. And they're mostly eaten on the first one. You know. There's one quite happy here on the second one. You know. Okay. Get out of here. Okay. Ready to close the gate. And uh, on my way up, I stayed on this side with my wheel. Uh, inside wheel toward the middle. And on the way out, I'm going to the other side with my inside wheel to the middle. So that way I keep the keep the middle from getting a hump on it, like most pasture roads do. Okay, now I'm headed for the second gate on the way out, down by the bridge. Well, there is a there actually is a another gate here, but I don't normally count that as a gate. I don't have to open it. I leave it open most of the time. Very seldom do I close it. I got it there in case I need to close it. Yeah. yeah. So I don't count that when I throw it out. But that's already open. I don't count it. I count the cases I have. Get off my tractor. Open and close. Going in and going out. Oh, I left that gate open, but I still got to get off and close it. Uh, even though there's no cattle in here right now, and I got them locked out of here, I still close the gate just in case they somehow manage to get in. At least they have a, another block. Gate's closed and I'm headed home. Well, I'm headed out of the pasture and the next stop is the house. Well, I'm almost back to the house. Yeah, I'm going to get another view. And another view of the house. A little white pool I brought up in the brought up with the hide of cattle. Right back where I started from. Uh, that's the three net wraps I had rolled up today. I'm going to store them in this feed bag here till I need till I have a chance to burn them. Uh, probably burn them every time I get a full bag. That's better than collecting them in a big pile. Well. Right now I got five balls of five uh, balls of uh, net wrap in there. I had I had two on the tractor before I started, so I put them in there too. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I got plenty of feed sacks and uh, dog food sacks too. So even though I don't have a dog, <laughs> I buy dog food for my cats. It's cheaper. 
and uh, they fit in there pretty good. Yeah, when I get a full bag, I'll uh, I'll just burn it in my regular burning pile, trash burning pile. Okay, so it's about 11:15 a.m. So I got the feeding dent. I don't have to feed these cattle because they still got grass in the bottom. Ah, plenty of grass down there. Okay, well, that's all for now. Maybe I'll have something later. Catch you later. Oh, there's a there's a little bully, and then there's the hiding cattle over there. One here and there's. A, the other two are over there somewhere, I guess. I see one over there. Uh, I'm sure the other one's around too. Yeah, there's the other one. Standing up. Okay. Yeah, I closed this gate yesterday because this one here was eating on the bale there by the gate. By the... Oi! Don't stretch my wire. She stretched her the wire with her horn. And didn't get shocked. Oh, I had to sneeze. Whew. That was a big one. Hurt my back. Uh, okay, it's all for now. I'll catch you later. Yeah, that heifer there was in here yesterday. Eating this bale underneath the fence. But I fixed the fence yesterday. But I still don't want them in here. The grass ain't very big anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I think she wants to come in because she likes the taste of this hay. Because this is the good stuff. Alright. Uh oh, she's going to go pick on him. She likes to pick on... She was picking on the big cattle there at the, at the big pasture when they were out there. She's a little bully. Okay, that's it. No, you missed the mark. Not here. There. There you go. I found a few pears. I found a few pears in the, that were overripe, so I gave them to them because she likes it. She likes those. She likes those pears. I don't think she likes them as much. Yeah. But she does. She loves them. Especially when they're overripe. Uh-oh, who's coming up behind me? Oh, hi guys. Guys and girl. Oh, she's got a belly. I think she's pregnant. She'll have a calf next year. Oh, she's got a big belly. I don't think it's just from grass either. I don't think it's just from grass. Let's see if she likes them. You like them? Go ahead. Eat. Yeah, you gotta make sure. It, she, yeah, she likes them too. Oh, we got the old mama cow. She's not too interested. Yeah, hope she has a calf. I don't see no. I don't see no activity on her udder. She's had calves before, but uh, not for a while. And these two never had a calf. Yeah. Not sure why, but they didn't. She's the youngest one. But hopefully they're pregnant now. Since they were out with the bull for six months. Not that bull. The big bull. I just brought him back in case they aren't pregnant. Maybe he can grow up and do the job himself. Yeah, since he's a little smaller. Uh oh, we got a fight. Uh huh. <laughs> you can't beat that bigger one, can you? Uh, she's almost done. You only got a couple more left. Boy, she was fast. She ate them fast. Come on, hurry up. Two more. What's so? What's wrong with you? Why don't you like that one? Not ripe enough? Look at her. 
She's just nosing it. <laughs> so yeah, she took a bite out of it. She just took a bite. She'll get it. She'll get the rest of it. Well, at least she got a little one or two. I guess Bully didn't learn, never did learn to eat them. Yeah. I'll have to go retrieve my bucket. Yeah. I salvaged a few that are still okay to eat, but the, those are too ripe. Overripe. And yeah. I figured I'd give it to them. I know it's, I don't oh see she left one. Uh, no, I don't have no more for you. And you, Mama Cock, well you don't like them. Huh? Alright. That's all for now. I'll catch you later. Oh, she's gonna. Uh oh. She walked away too soon. Now the other one trying to get, sneak in there. Yeah, but she won't let her. Yeah, she's not gonna let her. That's my pair. That's my pair. Get out of the way. You gonna finish that? Well, I'm gonna get my bucket anyway. Well, at least she got the one in the middle got some pairs. Mama Cow wasn't interested. She got a couple. Oh, look at the cat. In the back there. All right, it's somewhere in there. Uh, yeah. And Bully, he didn't want them either. Of course, he knows better. He knows not to get too close to any of them. Oh, there's the other cat. There's the other. Oh, he's. You're living dangerously there, bud. I guess you're my new bud. <laughs> He's coming over to see what I'm doing. Yeah. Hey, right. think I got some food for you? I don't feed, only feed you in the, by the house. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Let's go inside. Well, I, I was thinking she was pregnant before, but I don't see a belly anymore. What happened? What happened, Mama? Cow? I even thought I saw a calf kick right after I brought you and your the others up here back in September. And you had a bigger belly back then. Something happened to you? Uh, I'll just have to wait and see. If they're gonna have a calf, it'll be sometime after December. Probably January, January or after. Time will tell. Uh, if they have a calf, they have a calf. If they don't, I'll have to deal with it when it don't happen. I got until about uh, March. Yeah, I got uh, got until about March, or even. Yeah, about until March. No, June. I got until about June to find out. Cause I took them away from the bull in September, so uh, they got bred right before I moved them. That would give them all the way till June. So we'll see what happens. That's why I brought him up. To, uh, maybe he can cover him if the other bull didn't. Well, it's 11.38 or no, 11.40 a.m. and it Warmed up to about 56 degrees, so that's about an 8 degrees increase in two and a half hours, because it was 48 at 9 a.m. this morning. Anyway, the wind is still cold, but the sun is warm, so that feels good. Still need a jacket for the wind, though. Oh, God. You just know how to relax. Okay. You're pretty good at relaxing, aren't you? Uh, so am I. <laughs> 60 degrees Fahrenheit at 2 p.m. now. Well, it's 2 p.m. now, and cloud sky is still pretty clear. Just a few clouds here and there. Uh, and the temperature warmed up to 60 anyway. I don't think it's going to warm up too much more than that. Yeah. Yeah, 
view with the sunshine. It, the wind from the north is pretty cold. And uh, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, I don't have nothing enough to do today, so I'm just going to relax. Take it easy. And enjoy the day. So I'll be catching you on the next one. Bye. Well, I'm walking out to my mailbox, and uh, on the way, I decided to check out the cattle, and here they are. Yeah, these two are eating here. Yeah, yeah, they still got plenty of grass down here on the side of this hill and the bottom, everywhere. The whole bottom is full of grass, so I don't need to feed them hay for quite a while. But I'll be keeping an eye on them, just, just to be sure they got something to eat. Here's the other two. There's a little bully down there, a little white bully. And there's the, there's the old mama cow over there. So, let me go out and check the mail. Yeah, all I gotta do is walk out to the mail box. And I know I got something because uh, my uh, pharmacy, my, I call it mail order pharmacy, they always notified me on my phone when there's a delivery, so there should be something in there. Yeah. And sun's up there. Yeah, and it's gonna it's gonna come down right about here, I think. At least from this angle, anyway. At least from where I'm standing, it's gonna come down over here, I believe. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. I can't I always forget. Although, uh, if I remember right, I think it came down over here when I was standing standing farther. To my left, I think it was setting over here. But from this angle, I think it's going to set over, over here somewhere. Somewhere in this area it sets. This time of year. Anyway, let's get back to checking the mail. Okay, let's, let's go there. Well, I guess I'll uh, end it here and uh, catch you on the next one. Bye. Yeah, I got my medicine. All right. Catch you on the next one. Bye.